Oh, hello. Welcome to Frenemies vlog number two. We are down here in beautiful, one-of-a-kind Hollywood. In the heart of Hollywood, California, giving an iconic Hollywood bus tour. The pink bus, because the pink okay. side is better than the black That's side true. here on Front of Means. Are we in the heart of Hollywood? We're in the heart of Hollywood, okay. yeah. Joe's Pizza and PH Hollywood Hookup. Okay. Yeah. Today we're hijacking a tour bus. Well, Unsuspecting we, we people. We it. We're not hijacking. We well, it's not like a criminal hijacking. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, but yeah. like the people don't know that we're giving them a tour. That's the, uh, the premise. Surprise, you're on hidden camera. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna be giving our own version of a Hollywood tour to unsuspecting tourists. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Let's go. All right, everybody, welcome to uh, Hollywood Tours. Woo! Thank you. I am, uh, will be your tour guide today. My name is Ethan and I've never done this before. Actually, to be honest with you guys, I don't even like Hollywood that much. It's a little bit of a, Let's be honest, folks. There's not much to see here. <laughs> I see people on this tour. I don't know why they're doing it. It's odd. Why are you guys here? I don't get it. How much you pay for this? 20 bucks? <laughs> How much you ticket for this? What's this cost for a tour? 40, 40 bucks what? you guys spent yeah. on this shit? <laughs> Holy sh Christ. All right, well, I'll try to give you your money's worth, but I doubt that you're gonna get anything substantial out of this tour. Um, here's a, here oh. we go, uh, nice little playground here. There's a homeless dude changing oh. his pants. Hey! Uh, uh, uh. Oh. All right. Hey, everybody. Yikes. Hey. Ah. <laughs> Just working with the environment here, doing my best. <laughs> All right, we're, well, we are headed down to, uh, where are we going? Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills. To uh, spy on a bunch of celebrities. Super creepy. Uh, you know where all the celebs live, right? Do you feel odd about that? No, he says no. And uh, so we've we've gotten every celebrity that we can find their address off like the deep web, Google. You looked it up? Yeah. Oh, oh I, I hired I hired private investigators. So oh. this is pretty shady. Yay. But we're gonna go scope out some celebs and uh, go go uh, you know violate their privacy. That's what we do here, folks. <laughs> oh my God. Well, there's no way to hide it. I mean, there's a lot of homeless people <laughs> down here. I mean, might as well just call it out, right? <laughs> and I mean, God bless them, but Hollywood High. Oh, Hollywood High School. <laughs> wow. There's a high school here. Yeah. John Ritter went there. <laughs> oh, oh, that's gonna fuck you up going to high school here. My uncle graduated. He turned out. You graduated okay. from there? My uncle. Oh, your uncle? How's he? He's kind of fucked, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys, so here we are. There's a car pulled out of in front of us. We're gonna just take it easy. UPS on the right. Say hi to UPS. Hi, UPS. It's empty. <laughs> We're going to check out Charlie Chaplin Studios. Does anybody care about that? No. Nobody cares about Charlie <laughs> Chaplin Studios. No, yeah, I do. I do. Oh, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. Love the studio. Uh oh. Someone's yelling. Who's that? <laughs> Where did it come from? He said if you're on that bus, you stink like mm -hmm. ass and booty. No. Who said that? Somebody, hey, turn around. <laughs> no. Wait, we gotta go confront him. Can we do a Yui? I don't know about that. Oh, no, was it like no. a? Okay, okay. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of down to. Okay, all right. No. <laughs> keep it moving. Keep it moving. I'll tell you what, you guys could definitely be doing something better on a Tuesday afternoon. But that's all right, you're stuck with me for two hours, so if you want your money back, uh, it's not happening. Yeah. All right, here's a parking lot on the right. That's wow. interesting, right? All right, wow, that's a condemned house. You get a shot of that one? Oh, yeah. Holy smokes. Hey, Kermit the hey. hey, Kermit. Jim Henson Studios. Kermit. Oh, there's a big Kermit? It's his studio. Holy right? shit! There's a giant Kermit up there. Uh, Kermit impression? What the hell is this? Kermit the Frog here. Hey, Kermit the Frog here. <laughs> That's exciting. All right, Kermit, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, give it up. Incredible. What a good time, huh? By the way, it's uh, closing and moving to Texas. Oh. What? That fucking frog is betraying us. <laughs> moving to Texas. <laughs> God, you believe that shit? Everyone's moving to Texas, even Kermit. <laughs> There's a uh, Dunn Edwards paint over here on the right. Wow. And a Ross right next to it. You guys heard of Ross? 
You can find a James oh. Charles palette in there. There's this, there's this Starbucks where Jeff Wittig blew me off. That oh. one right there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yo, that's the Starbucks where Jeff Wittig blew Trisha yeah. off you guys. This is unprecedented uh, on this tour. Unbelievable. That, the, so if you guys don't know the story, Jeff Wittick blew the famous Trisha Paytas <laughs> off there. She he she was he saw her in there and he left his order yeah. on the counter yeah. and left the Starbucks. <laughs> and that's when the famous beef started, you guys. This is huge that we're seeing this. There's a guy recording us. Hey! Hey, hey dude! Hey. Window down. What's up? Woo. Nothing to see here. <laughs> you got a, 40 bucks for the store, man. <laughs> You're not getting it for free. Wow, I can't believe we saw the Starbucks yeah. with Jeff Wittick, Blue Trisha Hall. Folks, is this something or what? Wow, wow, what a tour, what a tour. Unbelievably good times here. Wow. Wendy's on the left there, Wendy's. Excellent. Hey, give me Lovato. Billboard. What? Billboard. Oh, billboard. Oh, 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 wow. Demi Lovato, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> on the billboard. She, uh, her she, uh, rumor has it she's still upset about the yogurt incident <laughs> to this day. Her day is still ruined, folks. We feel so. We feel, our hearts go out to Demi Lovato. We got handprints. Handprints to the guitar solo. Wow. We got handprints. Famous lead guitar player. What hand? Oh, handprint. Handprints. Who's handprints? We got handprints. Whatever that means, guys. Take a look. Nikki Six. We got handprints. Wow. <laughs> Cool, you guys see the handprints? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right. Oh, I have some I have some commentary coming up. Oh, okay, you want a tour? Here, you want a free? Here, take the take okay, that. I, I have a lot of good stuff coming up for real. Okay, go. Okay, okay, okay. Here, let's. Okay. Here, introduce it is yourself. It's kind of hard to see, though. Introduce yourself. Okay. Oh, this is weird. Hello. Oh. Hold on Can tight. you hear me? Hey guys, I'm Trish, a second host of Frenemies. We were originally supposed to be in costume, but Ethan bailed on me, look, made me look like a loser, this outfit. But we're theme, we're thematic. Okay, so this is like my spot. I have history here, and I'm very excited to take people on a tour. This is very exciting. All right, hold on, let me see what's coming up. Oh, 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 oh. Um, this used to be a KFC, and it's now a Zanku chicken. Wow! <laughs> that is insider info. <laughs> No, I got wow. some good stuff. I have good stuff coming, I promise. Hold on. It'll just take a minute, because this strip is like my strip. You know, I used to like. This you want to say something to Starbucks people? Um, No, that used to be a coffee bean and tea leaf. That's where I saw Bob Saget in real life. I Bob Saget! Wow! <laughs> and now he's suing me. <laughs> so, oh, is he still suing you? I don't know. Oh. They, I, I paid for something, so I, he might be. Uh-oh. Why okay. is he suing you? Oh, because I said that he was creepy on TikTok. <laughs> So, um, coming up is the Laugh Factory, and this is where I used to sell meat for a guy. We'd sell it on the corner of Laugh Factory. You sold what? Meat. What? Meat? <laughs> yeah. His name was Josh Nasser. He was a comedian that also sold meat. And yeah. Meat? Meat. Meat. You sold meat? Meat on the corner of the Laugh like, Factory. Like hot dogs? No, like frozen meat that you could cook, like steaks. Were you in a store or on the street? <laughs> on what? the street. Because he would like perform there, and I was like his assistant, and we used to sell meat. Um, let's, that's odd. There's also that's a Jewish story. deli, um, kosher. Okay, there is something else coming up too. I used to be, hold on, I'll show you. Okay, to the left, we have Hyde. This is club, it's the first time I did heroin. <laughs> hey! it, was, it was a fun time, I was very skinny. Hey! And then over here is the famous Chateau Marmont, where John Belushi actually overdosed. Fun fact, I puked on the butter noodles that night when me and Moses went. There was blood on the sheets, so. Wow, 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 yeah. wow. It was a pretty good time. Um, Let's go. Yeah, there it is, Chateau. It's, it's very scary. This is, uh, oh, let's see here. There's more, oh, oh, oh. This is where, to the right, was Body Shop. I auditioned here at 18 years old to be a stripper and told I was too fat, so I went to the valley. Hey! <laughs> yeah, skinny girls only. <laughs> Okay, it's pretty iconic still. Uh oh, uh oh. My favorite site is coming up. It's coming, you guys. Get prepared. To the left, we have coming up the world famous Saddle Ranch, home to the douchebags like David Dobrik, Bryce Hall, Tana Mojo. Fuck the Saddle Ranch! If you want to be seen, go here, Saddle Ranch. It's an iconic, like, it really is iconic. <laughs> so, comment. 
Quality Store. Um, yeah, I used to work there as well. Nothing good happening there. Although Andy Kaufman did perform there. Is the comedy store haunted, like you say? Comedy store haunted? Um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> um, okay, so we are approaching um, the famous part of the Sunset Strip. Well, it used to be famous. This was like in the heyday, Viper Room, Johnny Depp. I used to come here in 2006, like way 25 years past its prime, when I dated, um, oh, I don't know, I guess I shouldn't say that name. Say it! There's, uh, I <laughs> no. <laughs> but we used to go here, and they were like 50 years old, and they were still like doing drugs and shit like that, and they were like hooking up. This is when I was like 16 years old, and people were like hooking up with me. It was kind of gross, actually. It's a little dark, but um, it's... <laughs> It's still there. Nicholas the Cage. Nicholas Cage. Oh my God! Fun fact, though. Not that I know this. Oh, I do know this, but I don't know him personally. Nicholas Cage met his wife at this little sushi place. It's called Blowfish Sushi, but it's no longer there. It was right across from Boa, and that's where he met. He. So I ended up trying to get a job there, but I didn't get hired because I had no prior experience. So there's the Viper Room where Joaquin Phoenix died. I took a death tour one time in Hollywood, and they just showed us places where people died. But um, he did die. Rest in peace. Um, yeah, what King Phoenix is your wife? Oh. <laughs> I mean, River? I think you're talking about River. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I knew it was one of those people. That's sad, though. But iconic. Okay. Did we get Roxy stories? I only went to the Roxy. There was a guy, there was a band called Faster Pussycat in the 80s, and I dated this guy named Tammy Down, and he used to, like, I can't really tell any of these stories because they're just not, like, family friendly. But we used to go to the Roxy all the time. Here's the whiskey a go go. I really only know this from Rock of Ages. I've actually never been myself, but it looks like kind of a kind of a bop. I did a lot of drugs down here because I thought it was cool, but what it kind ain't. of drugs did you do? Um, everything: coke, meth, heroin. Nice. <laughs> True uh, Hollywood experience. I thought it was so cool, but I was like 30 years too late to the cool scene of Sunset. It was like past its prime. Oh, the Rainbow Room. Another. This is another place where it's pop popping. Popular. They let me in underage there. The Rainbow Room is famous for letting people that are 16 in. You're supposed to be like over 18 or something. Hey! <laughs> I used to go in. <laughs> I don't know. Now we're going into Beverly Hills, so. Wow. Is that good? Yeah, yeah that was good. <laughs> that was all I knew about Hollywood. That was good so. because I didn't, I didn't know any of that stuff. Okay. Amazing. Wow, Trisha, fantastic. <laughs> That was great because I don't know anything about any of that stuff. I haven't done meth, crack, heroin, or anything fun, <laughs> exciting. Actually, I did smoke crack once. That's yeah, a lie. That's it, yeah. yeah, I did smoke crack once. It wasn't glamorous. It wasn't fun. It was a small hit, you guys. It was. Don't judge me. It was a very small hit of crack. Where Just, were you? No judgment. I, yeah. Thank you. I was at my friend's house. I had some, a little friend who were just on the little shadier side, and they started um, cooking cocaine into crack. I took a hit. Not a big deal. Thank you guys. Thank you. Woo! Crack one time. Yeah. I did crack one time. Thank you. So we're heading into Beverly Hills. Um, we're gonna go harass some celebs. All right. That's what the store is all about. There's Boa. That's the other famous place to go get paparazzi. Okay, Boa. That's where like the Demilia is going. Like I don't want to get paparazzi, and then they're there getting like that's where paparazzi is all the time. Alrighty. We should go at like nine so we can get paparazzi. You know what I mean? I always say that, and you say you don't want to. Yeah, I definitely don't. <laughs> let's let's keep our mind. Yeah, I love Ringo. Peace and love. Peace and love. Where this is he? a serious message to everybody watching. Oh. This he... update right now. Is he here? Is he here? Tom said something about Ringo Starr. We're gonna go to his driveway. Oh, we're gonna go to his driveway. <laughs> So amazing! I gotta do my. I've been training for this, you guys. I've been memorizing his peace and love speech. Oh, he's gonna hear me. Oh God! I'm gonna shout. Come, does the speaker get louder? We've we've got we've achieved louder volumes. All right, we're we're approaching Ringo's. Let's try to keep it down. We don't want to scare him. He is a member, a founding. Well, he wasn't founding. He kind of. He was a member of the Beatles. Let's second, just say that. Second wave. Beatles. Yeah, right. yeah. But he's, you know, he's a Beatle. We don't take that away from him. Ringo Starr's an icon, and uh, he loves when big, giant tour buses of people come outside his house and scream for him, which is what we're gonna do here today. So we're in Beverly Hills, where people come to have peace and quiet, and we're here to disrupt that. Oh, is this it? <gasps> Stars, Stars on the gate. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, stop here. This is a serious message to everybody watching my update right now. <laughs> you think you can hear me? Awesome. Peace and love. Peace and love. Yeah. Ringo Starr. Well, he's got the stars on his gate. Did you make that up because there's stars on the gate? 
Wow, a little bit of a... Really a star, man. You gotta tone it down a little bit with stars everywhere. I mean, I get it. <laughs> it's a little gaudy. It's a little gaudy. Tone it down, Ringo. Okay. You know what, though? Jeffree Star has stars, too, at his house. So maybe it's his second house. Like I don't like that. That's Ellen's old place, right? Oh. Who's that? Ellen DeGeneres. Ellen! <laughs> old place, old place. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Old place. She doesn't live there anymore. <laughs> okay. So just uh, so we've seen Ringo Starr and Ellen, you guys feeling entertained here today? Yeah. Well, we didn't yeah. see them. But we didn't see them. We saw their driveway and gate and you know brushes. Er. David Arquette and Courtney Cox are right here. Wait, that's his house? They were, they were. Oh, they were. Well, I, you know, if they were there, then we don't really care about oh. that. I mean, I want to know where they are right now. <laughs> Jackie Michael Chan? Jackson. Michael Jackson. Who lives here? Jackie Chan oh. in Rush Hour. Oh. Jackie! No, no, in Rush Hour. <laughs> In rush hour. Oh, oh man, man. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, but like I'm here to see the celeb's house, not they used to live here. This is the house. Oh hi, did Jackie used to live here? Is that true? <laughs> we asked the current resident, but we didn't get a yes or no answer. We we moved on quickly. That's a shame. Wow, whose house is this? Oh, oil baron. Boring snooze, loser. So oh, wow. once again, wow. once again, just for clarity, guys, the Osbournes was shot here. They don't live here, but they shot here. Does they that lived interest there you? Twenty years ago, they did. Oh, they did. Yeah. Oh, okay. Fascinating. <laughs> Where's the Playboy Mansion? Isn't it around here? You want to go there? Yeah. You can't see much, but you can see the rock that you speak into. <laughs> okay. It's iconic. Sandra Bullock lives here. <laughs> guys. Guys, Sandra Bullock lives here. She's had three stalkers break into her house, so we shouldn't advertise it. Oh, um, Tom is saying that uh, they, they, yeah. Tom is warning that uh, the celebs sometimes complain about. They'll call the cops. What are they gonna do about it? They'll give us an over the weight limit ticket. Yeah, well, oh. I dare him to come out here. Triggered <laughs> over the weight limit. Yeah, excuse me, fat shaming. God. I dare them to call the police. Yeah. This is my tour bus. Could you imagine we get a ticket for being over the weight limit? Oh my god, that's so triggering. Oh, I, I, yeah. If there's a limit, weight limit though, we are way yeah, over. Oh, oh shit, the cops are right there. Uh -oh. Actually, should I not right say here, anything? Right yeah, I wouldn't say that. Sit down. Too. Should I say? Oh shit. Sit. Okay, everybody act cool. <laughs> Everybody at cool, there's an officer on our left. Everybody at cool. Everybody be cool about this. Oh my god. All right, all right. This is a hell of an adventure. Are we going to your house? I feel like we're getting close. Hell no. <laughs> you want to do, you want to do the Playboy Mansion? Playboy Mansion. Here, you want to take over? Is it, is, we're not, are we close? Five minutes. Five minutes. Here, take over. I yeah. only, you know what? I only took the Hollywood death tour for real because someone was murdered here in her Mercedes. It was a publicist. Do you remember that? Right here on Sunset. Wow. Yeah. And Bill Cosby's son was murdered off Sunset Boulevard, this wow. exit. So I only know like the death ones. Dr. Laura's mom was cocooned into a coma over here. Wow. And she was in her apartment for three days. Um, yeah. Some actress was killed by her stalker. This is a lot. Oh, is this the Beverly Hills Hotel? Yes, it Beverly is. Beverly is Hills Hotel. We were going to have our wedding here, but trash. They didn't have any opening availabilities. I think they said it to us because I think they thought we were trashy and didn't want to host us, but... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> one star! Yeah, yeah, one star. This intersection, I definitely got into car accidents. It's a six-way intersection right this, and this gets into car accidents all the mm -hmm. time. I have a few stories about being at the Playboy Mansion. I used to go from 18 to 21, and they would always take pictures of you, right? And I was always a little thickums, but I got thicker as the years went on. And I remember one day, Hef came up. He always did like a molest. He always kind of like groped your body like this. And I had a little belly because I stopped doing drugs. And he's like, oh. He goes, I see you've gotten a little curvier. And I never got invited back after that. And it was really, really sad. <laughs> yeah. I know, they really did ban me. I couldn't even go to the big parties where they had like a ton of people. They were like, Oh, hold on, okay. hold on. <laughs> I had to become one of the Hollywood death tour things. And I was like, oh shit, that, that, sorry. That's why, that's why I'm you sorry. Could, you could get killed instantly if I had to. Oh. You could okay. get killed instantly. <laughs> <laughs> I could just get impaled. Say hi to Michael Jackson. I knew this one, the Michael Jackson oldest. Is this where he died or just, yeah, oh. we're gonna go yeah, 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 I've been to this one. 
David Spade also lives here. He always takes pictures of people taking pictures in his driveway, and I think that's some bullshit. It's like this, this right here is a really photogenic spot, and David Spade will come out and like make fun of Instagram girls taking their pictures in the middle of the street. Wait, let's go see if we can it's get him to take bullshit. a photo of us. Yeah, he's around here somewhere. It's like the palm trees. I just recognize the area, like the spot. And he's like right on the street like this too. He's like, look at these losers taking pictures. Okay, David. David's way the loser. <laughs> he always ignored my DMs until one day his girlfriend wanted to meet me. And he's like, hey, Trish, my girlfriend's a big fan. Can you say hi? And then I was just like, you've ignored me for 20 years. So no, thank you. <laughs> I don't like David. <laughs> um, I just... Woohoo. The Rolling Stones? Mick Jagger and the Rolling Stones on this place right here. Elvis moved in right here in 69. Elvis? Elvis Presley lived right here in 69. Okay, Elvis. Elvis Presley lived over here. And then this is the house where Michael lived. So this is Michael Jackson's last residence. According to Tom, our bus driver, he used to stand on the balcony, say hi. So sad. This area feels spooky. Like, it feels, like, very scary. I don't know about it. Why is there so many deaths in Beverly Hills? It's like, rich people just sad, I guess. 2009, the day tragedy struck. What does that mean? What happened in 2009? Michael Jackson died. Oh, is that it? Oh, I forgot. Hey! Oh, we got the gate! Oh, oh, we got God. the gate open! Wait! Oh, sorry. Oh, yell at them. Okay. Yo, 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 yo. Who lives here now? Random words! It's an empty car. It's a random guy! Oh! Follow that car! No! Oh my God, okay. Trisha, yell at them. I'm not gonna yell at them. They're right there, but they're right Ooh, there. We don't know who's in there. Well, let's find out. Let's not. Ugh. We ate pizza right before getting on the bus, and I just feel so sick right now. Oh. We had the Greco's pizza by the slice. So we were in the car. How many slices? Two. Oh, just two? Yeah. Are they big? Huge. Oh, really? And they were, they wasn't well done. And we saw Dan and his girlfriend, and I hate making eye contact with people when I eat. And I was just like, oh, they're judging me for being a big fat pig in this car right now. Did you judge them, Dan? That's what I was thinking. I was just like, Say hi. Moses looked over. I'm like, don't make eye contact. I'm eating. And it looked like a pig just ravaging. Playboy Mansion. Oh, here it is. is it here? No. Fun fact, he actually like went bankrupt five years before he died, and this was sold, but it, the agreement was that he could live there until he died. I talked to Crystal Hoffner about this on the Dish with Church podcast, and she said that this was the truth. And that they were bankrupt and sold it. Hey! Where? Is it here? Wait, where? Where's The Rock? Oh. Who? Jay-Z? Oh, Beyonce and Jay-Z. Does anyone currently live in these houses? Like, celebrities? No? They all moved out. Oh, yeah, there's The Rock. What's the what's all this hubbub about a rock? You speak into it to say oh, like I I'm see. here for whatever. I see. Nickelback shot their video rock star here. Fun facts. We're here. Girls next door. Speaking to here. the rock. I think he's dead though now. Oh. Yo. <laughs> right? Didn't he actually die? Recently, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what like I thought. That. But everyone. Well, I like assume I was... somebody's here though. I don't think so. I think they're making it a museum. I don't think anyone lives there. Oh really? Um. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said something. Somebody bought it for 200 million. Somebody bought it for 200. Is that true? 200 million? That wow. seems like a lot. That house was small. And now we're going into. Say hi to Sean. Who? P Diddy. P Diddy. Say hi to P Diddy. Oh, I need to. Sh I need to <laughs> yeah, share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come up, come up. Or here, I just want to say, oh, you want me to take it? Yeah, yeah. Good okay. luck getting impaled. I just wanted to say I'm that. Hot, um, hot. Where's P Diddy's house? Right here on the right. Okay, oh, so thank you. I know something you guys need it. to know about P Diddy's house is that Zach here's Sorry. foreskin is buried in the yard. Yes, so yeah! Zach's true. foreskin. Like, give it up for Zach's foreskin. Yeah! Thank, Thank you, ladies you. and gentlemen. I can't see. Thank this you. Wait, this house? <laughs> I'll, I'll yeah, my tour from now on. You're going to say Zach? Oh, I'll, I'll Tam, Tom is going to work that into his tour now. Zach's foreskin. Yeah. Oh, this is it? Yeah, this so is P. Diddy lives here? <laughs> yeah. Diddy! <laughs> I had my childhood in this home. Diddy! I want my foreskin back! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Rest in peace, Biggie Smalls. We love him, too. <laughs> yep, let's find some more celebs to harass. Uh, you think we got any police calls for today? That'd be kind of exciting. I don't know. <laughs> That'd be a fun way to end the tour. Definitely possible. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever been pulled over by the police? Oh, many times for the over the lane. Oh, many times? And then what? It's just tours over? You gotta pay. No, you just have to pay the ticket. Just wet their beak? $300, $500. Oh, shit. Not your problem, though. You pay it? 
What kind of no. fucking bullshit is that? You driving and they make you pay that shit? Oh. What? <laughs> That's some bullshit, they Tom. Yo, but the, the bus owner should pay that, no? Oh, Tom, guys. Tom is being forced to pay overweight tickets. Shame on all of you who have not been on a diet. Oh my God, <laughs> Just kidding. It's not about the individual weights. It's about the quantity of people. Sure, let's see where Princess Alea grew up, ladies and gentlemen. She died too. She's dead as well. Is there anyone living on this store? <laughs> So apparently a lot of people die around here. Just a lot, this is kind of like a lot of death, old people and, and just horrible things happening here in Beverly Hills. So who's hungry? Me. Me. Oh, oh, Trisha's hungry? I mean, I'm a little sick from the pizza, but I could use something to stabilize it. What do we feel like? Domino's. Domino's? Chick-fil-A, Burger King, McDonald's, in and out Sprinkle What if we call some food to pick up and we just chill out on the bus and have some food? Sure. <laughs> now that's a fucking tour I could get behind. Right? Yeah! Right! Yes. Pizza. All right. What do we feel like, guys? We're on a tour. Uh, I got some Domino's. Pizza. Pizza. Trisha, what do you feel I like? I don't care. Whatever. Chick-fil-A. Come on, you guys. Let's get some enthusiasm for the food, Domino's, ladies. Domino's, John Papa John's. All right. We got the big guy back here who's very vocal. <laughs> Any of you guys got an opinion? Tea. What do we got? Bubble tea. Tea? Bubble tea. The boba. Bubble tea. Boba tea. Boba. 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 Okay, all right, guys. We're going. We're doing the boba tea. What does that mean? I don't know. Boba. All right, we got boba tea. Would you like a boba tea, Tom? All right, Tom Dog. All right. Yeah, we got to get some boba. Carrie Fisher grew up right here. Carrie! Carrie! She's not here. She died. She's dead. It's a good tour, huh? Debbie Reynolds. Debbie! Debbie! Also, she's, dead too. she's dead. I've been informed she's also dead. <laughs> Sorry, I just gave Lena like Mission Impossible. I, everyone seems stoked on Boba Tea. <laughs> here, let's. Let, ben Siegel, ladies and gentlemen, died right here. Excuse me, miss. Did you know Ben Siegel died right here? She didn't know that. Now you know. Can we get can we get a um, Postmates to the car and have them chase us? <laughs> it's a moving target. Yeah. All right. I think the next street for real is David Spade's house. Those palm trees oh, right there. Oh, let's go to David Spade's Maybe house. Maybe pull over by that road yeah. right around the corner. Yeah. I know because I see him do it every day this on is Instagram. Awesome. Yeah, he gets pissed. Like standing in the middle of the road. He'll okay, get so right now we're right going to here. see if we can bait David Spade into coming out and oh, confronting us. Oh yeah, this is us. it. The Paul David. Spade. I would say middle. Park in the middle. Of, like you know. David. <laughs> oh my God. David Spade. We know you're out here somewhere. I just want to be on his Instagram story. That'd be dope. David Spade. <laughs> David Spade. <laughs> David, we got a bus of big fans out here. Are we? Are we David Spade? No, we I don't am. really like David. I like David Spade. Oh, we like David. Yeah. I thought you, you just said you hate you him. Treat. I don't like current David Spade. I like David Spade back in the day, like Tommy All right, that's Boy. That's two nuance for me to shout <laughs> out of a speaker. Yeah, let's just take a stop, get some boba tea. Okay. There we go. You ever park in these neighborhoods and just chill? Yeah. This is a first for you. Yep. Awesome. This is a first, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, parking and chilling yeah. in Beverly Hills. <laughs> Amazing. All right, so we're locating some boba. Tom, what do you feel like eating? Um, Tom, you call I was, it. I was just thinking Shake Shack back in West Hollywood. Oh, okay, Shake Shack. Tom is calling out Shake Shack, you guys. So then we can take Santa Monica Route Shake Shack back to West Hollywood and get it there. How's that? Oh, wow. <laughs> 15 burgers and 15 fries. Woo! Okay. Oh, does anyone else want a veggie burger? How many veggies we got here? One? So just one? Just one! Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Tom. Got excited about Shake Shack. One veggie burger. How exciting, everybody. What the hell is this? Hey! So you, wow. But you're gonna call him a veggie burger. What the hell was that thing, man? <laughs> Floyd Mayweather, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, let's wish him luck with this fight with yeah, Logan. Lo got your hat. Got your hat. Got your hat. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather, who is going to be fighting Logan. Friend of the show, Logan Paul. Yeah, friend of the show, <laughs> right. Friend of the show. Which I will not be pirating, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I will be streaming legally <laughs> or not watching, let's yeah, be clear. probably just not watching. Uh -huh. Can I make a correction real quick? You want to take the mic? Can they hear me? Here, take the mic. No, it's for frenemies. Um, we should clarify, can you really put this in, that it wasn't Jordan Fisher, the Evan Hansen I was talking about, it was Andrew Barth. 
Garfield, I think his name was, and he actually looked 16, the guy to play Evan Hansen. All the comments are really pissed that I got it wrong. Yeah, you got that. You really so fucked that up. So it's Andrew Barth Garfield or something like that. This is like a that. reference to the Frenemies okay. episode. So I just want to, because there was a ton of comments on it, and people were really well, mad. Well, yeah, I mean, you really fucked that up. And he did look <laughs> like he, the other guy does look like he's 16, so my apologies. I just want people to leave his it name? in. What's his name? Mixed okay. up the age. It's right here. Like that. Andrew yeah. Barth Feldman, that's him. Let me him. see. And this kid's actually 16? And he played Evan Hansen on Broadway, and this is the one people wanted. I thought Ben Plant played it on Broadway. He originated it, but there's been like 10 Evan Hansons. He grew out of it. Hansons. Oh, okay. yeah. I think that's Ooh, important. Good direction. I thank you. The comments are so upset. <laughs> So we are now headed to, this is the hotel. What time is it? It's like 1.30. Wake up! Oh my it's god. 104. It it's should be up by now. It's only 1.04. Wake up! <laughs> All right, it's a wake up call. Yes. <laughs> it's one o'clock. They have the best hamburgers at the Polo Lounge. We should have ordered hamburgers from there. They're like $50 a piece. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> the Polo Lounge. <laughs> wow, can you do that? Yeah. Floyd's house, right? Floyd right here? Is he Let's actually there? Oh, there's somebody in the window. Oh, somebody oh, in the hey, window. hey! Oh, oh, oh. Floyd! 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 Got your hat! Come fight me! <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Uh, Floyd Mayweather, ladies and gentlemen. Mayweather. How much he spent on that? 20 million. Jesus. He's so rich though. He yeah. got he got like jewelry that cost twenty million. There's oh, a competing man. Oh, <laughs> Yo, you got beef with the other tour companies? Yeah, fuck oh, them. Yeah. Give the shout out for this van. It's a pink van. Yeah, what do we give what do we give you Book shout the out, pink Tom? Van. Dream Tours. Dream Tours! Dream Tours! It's a hot pink van. Hot pink! It's dope. Tom Cruise used to live here. Used to here. live there. Were <laughs> we successful? Yes. $300 of Shake Shack. Let's go. 13 Shack burgers, two veggie shacks, three, 15 cheese fries, seven shakes, vanilla shakes, eight chocolate shakes. Let's fucking go! Tom got excited, it's lunchtime. Let's go. Oh, what's this? Why is this plumber looking like a tour company? <laughs> Guarantee plumbing. I kind of want to run into other tour buses. If we can beef with them, that would be fun. <laughs> I had friends in high school that fell out of a bus. Really? I mean, I'm holding on. Thank you. I mean, as long as this thing doesn't swing wait, open wait. unexpectedly. You had friends, what? plural? You had multiple friends that fell out of buses. I had one friend and then his best friend at, his, at their friend's wedding fell out of the party bus on the highway. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Jesus. Are you right? Are they okay? No, they're dead. I don't want to kill the buzz, but they're dead. Oh my God. Holy fuck. Mood yeah. down, AC. I just was telling him to be careful. <laughs> well, Bro, what? The, why would you bring that up? <laughs> I asked him. Wait, bring they it down, down AP. Two separate deaths? Bus related deaths? Yeah. Well, I'm holding on tight. Listen, I got, I'm going to get Shake Shack. I'm not dying, trust me. <laughs> Nothing's going to kill me. Well, I just, let, oh, let's, get a pul let's get a pulse for the city. Let's talk to some people on the street. Let's see. Whatever this we're is. We're heading over to an apartment building that Sinatra owned. Oh, apartment building. building. And Marilyn Monroe had rented a unit in this building. Marilyn Monroe has rented, get this, an apartment. <laughs> In this building, we're going to be checking out. Uh, and, and there's a picture online of Marilyn standing right in front of the garage door. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> hey guys. Yeah. <laughs> we got a white Kia over here. Hi, we got a white Kia on our left. The middle figure. With two. For hello, right? With two dudes sitting in it. Fascinating stuff on our toy here. Two gentlemen sitting in a white Ooh. Kia. <laughs> All right. We have a uh, we've got a girl here walking her dogs on the left. Well, she's walking her dogs. We got two dudes sitting down on the curb here. Good. Love that. The sights you see out here in uh, Hollywood, Los Angeles. Uh, coming up on the right, we have a man walking dogs. There's a man walking three dogs on the right. Wow, doggies! <laughs> Shout out to him. And coming up here on the left, there's a man getting in his black truck. 
Yeah. And it's Bob Trump. We have a dude doing, yeah. Excellent. Fantastic stuff here. Uh, and on the left is a woman with an orange rucksack of some kind with wheels. She's looking across the street. She's, she's waiting across the street. Take care. Oh, we're, appro we're approaching the sheriff. Do you want to sit down? Got it. Coming up on the right is a man in a blue shirt. Yeah! Blue shirt on the right, walking. He's walking in a blue shirt and pants. He's walking, he's cruising, he's looking good, he's feeling good. We love that, we love that. Blue shirt guy, take care. You vaccinated? Yes, he is. We love that, we love that. Wait, can I take over for a second? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. I have a dream and I wanna... Hold up tight. We're getting to my favorite part of LA, and this is West Hollywood WeHo, home of the Gay Pride Parade starting June 1st. This will be closed up, and we can march the streets as the LGBTQ+. There's Chi Chi LaRue's, there's Mickey's, that is finally opening up June 15th. Block Party WeHo, this is Flaming Saddles, is the place where I went and saw my first drag queen. This is the best area, because you can walk around with your ass out in Gay Pride Month, and people live for it. And I just wanted to do a little something for the gays. Um, I have a song from Lizzie McGuire movie called What Dreams Are Made Of. I'm going to perform it for you right now. Yeah! <laughs> uh, hold on, wait, no. Okay. Have you ever seen such a beautiful night? I could almost kiss the stars for shining so bright. When I see you smiling, I go, oh, oh, oh. I would never want to miss this Cause in my heart, I know what this is Hey now, hey now. This is what dreams are made of This bus is hey out now. of control hey This is what dreams are made of I got somewhere I belong I got somebody to love This is what dreams are made of Oh, there's a cop. Be cool. Be cool. <laughs> oh, I've always wanted to do that. I'm so excited for Gay Pride. <laughs> Can you heckle some people on the street? No, we're in a gay area. I'm not going to heckle them. <laughs> it's like a hate crime. What? How do yeah. You, everybody's gay here? Yeah. Are we oh going to shake <laughs> Oh! All right. Oh, shake Shack. Hey. Let's go. So exciting. Can I smoke on your bus? Let's smoke, dude. Just no pot. No pot, just a cigarette. This is the greatest tour ever. We're smoking on the tour bus. Wait, you can do that? Yes. <laughs> Give it up. Give it up. Wow. wow. We got napkins. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. All right, raise your hand if you got a vanilla. Hi, Dad. Hey. You got your mail, Zach, don't worry. <laughs> and guess what? It's fucking best oh, food. Oh, thank fuck God. Crap. Fuck crap. Yeah, fuck crap. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta take off? You can take off. Big reveal. Ah! Woo! Well, we had a good time, didn't we, folks? Woo! Yeah! Woo! Hopefully, Tom here doesn't get any citations. We're rooting for you, Tom. Thank you. <laughs> Tom! 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 Yes, sir. Okay, let's say hi to the folks on the street here. Guy here in a, in a purple jersey, blue and purple jersey with white shoes. Take a look at him. Coming up here is a girl in a green dress. Floral design. Excellent. Coming out here, we got some dude in a blue shirt. He's got an LA bag and a blue shirt and a blue hat. A blue mask. Yep. Oh, and not you, sir, your friend. Blue shirt, blue mask, yes. There we go. Now, where else Where else can you see a man in red shorts and a white shirt with a Nike Swiss? Yes, I am. Take care. Hey, we got a dude in a blue shirt here. The black hat. That's great. Great pants. We have two minutes, everybody. Let's make it count. Two minutes. Let's make it count. Make it count. Oh, okay, coming up on the left here, it's really exciting. Man in a red shirt and a trunk sitting in the trunk of his car. Red shirt, gray pants. Sitting in the trunk, he's on his phone. 
He's got glasses and a mask. He's sitting in his trunk. Okay, this is only in Hollywood. Coming up on the left here, you got green hair. A woman with green hair, black shirt. She's got big black boots. Only in Hollywood, guys. Her mask kind of flew off there. Take a look on the left there. Hell no, hell no! This is the this is only in only in Hollywood, folks. We got green hair. She's heckling back. This is exciting. <laughs> Coming up on the left here. Wow, this is exciting. We got a purple kind of headband, gray shirt. He's got a cute little white dog. We love that about him. Well, come to the end of our tour here. But uh, we got a man in a blue hoodie over here on the left. Pretty exciting. Blue hoodie. Okay, coming up on the left here, coming up on the left, we got a whole group of young girls here. Take a look at this. Only in Los Angeles, California, can you see a group like this. We've got photos, we've got a black shirt. Holy shit, what is happening here, folks? Wait, whoa, whoa, we're supposed to... Hi, okay, we got a girl taking pictures here. Wow, what is happening? Wow, wow, wow. Holy shit, what is happening? Wait, why are you guys all, what's going on here? Girls trip! Girls trip! Girls trip! Only in Hollywood. All right, Tom, take off. This is our parking spot! You're gonna let us out of here? Tom, you're gonna let us out of here? This is a pack of vultures, Tom. What have you done? Tom, why have you done this? All right, well, this is the end of our tour where apparently we're being thrown to the hyenas, so. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Wow. Big round of applause for Tom. All right. Trisha, you want to say you want to say something? Thank you so much yeah, yeah, yeah. for joining the Frenemies Hollywood Tour. If you want your tickets, go to the H3 Podcast. Oh. Email Dan. He'll set up a tour for you. <laughs>